guys, Video Essentials here. I'm starting off today's video with Dollar Tree bath mats. And I'm gonna be having three of these bath mats cut to size and fitting them into this frame that I made right here. I'm gonna be using what I'm about to make to cover up a window that's in the bathroom. This window right here. I took the measurements and made sure that it was to size and I used PVC to make the frame. I'll be using the staple gun to hold the pieces together. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'm going to be cutting the bath mat to size to fit the frame. When I was done, I used hot glue to glue them all together. To make sure that this stays in place without falling off in the future, I will strongly suggest to add a strong adhesive with the hot glue. Now I'm going to turn what I have here to the back and staple down the table mat that have been glued together to the frame that I just made. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take it out and spray paint it gold. I'm going to keep this aside and show you guys the bathroom that I will be working on. Now this one has its own DIY video, but I will be working on the inside because I do have tiles that are there and I don't like the color. I tried using spray paint as you can see, but that was a failure. So I decided to go for the actual thing using paint that works on tiles. So I will recommend using these paints because it comes in two separate cans for the base coat and the top coat. I used a different paint, but then I'll strongly recommend the one that I showed you guys earlier to use on your tiles. This is also a tile paint, but I'm trying to experiment on it. And I will tell you guys how this lasted for me. But then, like I said, I would prefer you go with an actual paint for tiles. When I was done, I used grout pen to highlight the horizontal lines only. The window is permanently sealed, so I'm going to be attaching what I just made to cover it up, and this way I still have light coming through into the bathroom. I had a leftover trim from another project. I decided to just put that up there because it goes with one of the trims by the side. I'll be adding decorative onlays to the four sides of the frame. Another Dollar Tree item that I'll be using in this bathroom will be the peel and stick tiles. And these are going to be installed in front of the bathtub. I made sure I cleaned it properly before attaching the peel and stick tiles.
I'm gonna be cutting right here to finish up the top. The top is going to be protected from water, of course, but I want to show you guys another video that I had where I worked on a different bathroom and I did something entirely different for the bathtub area. I used contact paper and I also made a tufted base for the bathtub area. Now I did all this because that particular bathtub does not have a shower. It does have a separate shower in a different area entirely. So as you can see here, I use PVC to separate the parts and I will use PVC again for this other bathroom to separate the Dollar Tree tiles from the bathtub. I added trims too here as well and I used a strong adhesive to attach all of the PVC to the tub. Dollar Tree now has caulk and you can use it to cover up the edges. Seeing what it looks like now, I decided to just go ahead and paint the side of the wall white. This is what it looks like. Now I do have another option for a way to cover up the window. I'll be using a screen panel from Home Depot. And I got a screen panel that isn't black because they didn't have any other colors available. So what I'm gonna do is spray paint what I have here gold. When it was dry, I mounted it up to the wall and this is what it looks like. The shower curtain that I have there was made on another video, but I will show you guys what I did. All I did was to use gold diamond wrap and make some kind of orders at the top. And the gold that I'm adding here complements the gold that I already have going on around the bathroom. I added some cute decor pieces to the space. And I also added a mirror here to visually expand the room. This is what it looks like now. And it's much more brighter compared to what it used to look like before. Using some Dollar Tree items to change few things here in the bathroom. And I really love the way it turned out. The Dollar Tree tiles at the bottom is gonna be changed in a year or two. Because every now and then, I do love to change the decor in my home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.